Okay, now we have our setup here in Google Tag Manager. We have our listener, we have our data layer variables, triggers, all that stuff. So in Google Ads, go into conversions. And here, new conversion action, website. Um, take your website URL here, kind of annoying step you have to go through. We're not interested in what, what I have to say, but create conversion actions manually using code. Perfect, let's do it like this. Uh, submit lead form, sounds good. I'm gonna call this type form sub submit for GTM. Um, for the value, we can't really get the value. So this is up to you. You can, you know, skip the value. You can uh, kind of have a uh, perhaps like a, kind of an average on what a submit like this could be worth. Maybe if you're selling a consultation for 10,000 and you get 20% uh, of this, I don't know, maybe it's 2000. This is tricky because it's not e-commerce. It's more unclear, but I'm going to use don't use value for now. Count every uh, click through window. I'm going to up this to 90 days. It's also up to you. Done. Save and continue. Okay. Uh, click setup. Loading. Okay. Install. Oh, come on. Where can I get the Google Tag Manager? I'm not interested in that stuff. Let's click done. Type form submit. You can see that it's unverified. Let's click on this. Hopefully we can. Uh, okay. I just, I guess I missed something or had to do this annoying extra step. Use Google Tag Manager, conversion ID and conversion label. So in our Google Tag Manager, let's go to tags, new, look for Google Ads conversion tracking. And now let's grab this conversion ID and the conversion label. We're just gonna copy these here. And let's see, triggering, we're going to be triggering on successful type form submit. And we're going to call it Google ads type form submit. It says conversion linker tag is missing. So let's click save, click new tag, make sure we have the conversion linker here triggering on all pages. Whoops. I'm just going to call it conversion linker. Okay, we should now be ready for a preview. So let's close that and cl click preview here. It's going to open our website. If you haven't done this already, you will copy paste your website URL here and click connect. All right, let's see. So now in Google ads, let's go back where we can see our conversions. And indeed, we can see type form submit GTM is unverified. So we haven't verified the tag yet. Let's see if we can uh, get it verified. So I'm just going to fill this type form here in our uh, Google Tag Assistant preview window. 
click submit. Okay, in our tag assistant window, this looks good because our Google Ads type form submit uh, has been fired. So now is the moment of truth in if, in our Google Ads, Google Ads conversions type form submit, which is still unverified. Let's see when we refresh this page, if we can get it to be verified. Perfect. We have successfully done the best method for type form. Google Ads conversion tracking. So it's no longer unverified. Instead, it says no recent conversions. So what this means is that it's no longer unverified. It is verified. There's just hasn't been an actual conversion. Because what we did here in the preview, uh, preview for Google Tag Manager Tag Assistant, it wasn't an actual conversion, because there wasn't an an ad click, it was just a test. However, Google Ads has now received that uh, kind of test event, and it's now been verified. And you can rest assured that you have the absolute perfect method for tracking Google Ads type form submit conversions. If you need help with this, please get in touch with me with me. Uh, I offer one one-on-one -on -one consultations for uh, all this consulting, uh, sorry, cons uh, conversion tracking. I do these all day, every day. I know Google Tag Manager, Typeform, Google Ads pretty well and can help you out if you need a tracking like this or any kind of custom Google Tag Manager, Typeform, Google Ads conversion setup. So don't hesitate to shoot me an email if you feel like you're kind of banging your head, head against the wall because these can be quite tricky. All right. Thank you so much for watching and stay in touch.